what is up everybody this is taking a step away from tumblr here bringing you guys a discussion and today we're going to be talking about the tri pokemon predictions that we have for this thursday who's going to win serena shauna jesse or the one and only nene considering that she's the best girl according to the fandom and to that with me to discuss this is hey hey what's going on everybody this is alpha Evie. and let's get started because next thursday is a big day the third tri pokemon Everybody's all hyped up about it. I'm mostly hyped up because, you know, Serena will probably win this one yet again. But there are a lot of things that are in her way to actually win this. This time, Eevee being lost in performance. So, will Eevee be the one to cost her the win for this tri Pokemon? We'll be talking about that today. Alright, so before we start talking about who's going to win, our predictions, I'm going to announce the straw poll results. From yesterday's straw poll that I posted, and the question was, who will win the third Pokemon Showcase? You guys voted, and out of 146 votes, in fourth place we got Nene with 11 votes. Third place, Shauna with 13 votes. Second place, Jesse with a whopping 18 notes, and Serena with a, I don't even think it was competition for her, 104 notes, 71% out of everybody. Now that is ridiculous, but you know. I kind of saw that coming, cause come on, guys, she's a Carlos queen. Your thoughts, Edgar? Um, well, I mean, it's without a doubt that Serena has been getting a lot of attention from some of the X and Y fans. So, and a lot of people have been speculating that she's going to win because, uh, you know, she's been on the roll with uh, her practices uh, in the past few uh, few episodes. So, uh, that might let people to believe that Serena might win the next track Pokemon. Definitely. And you know, a lot of people are also saying too, like, she also shares that winning streak that Ash has. Like, Ash hasn't lost a battle in like 50 episodes. And since Serena won her first try Pokemon, that streak's gonna continue going. So hopefully that's the case. But in my opinion, I do see Jesse winning. Not because I don't like Serena. Trust me, guys, you guys already know that. But Jesse, like, the X and Y writers will probably do, uh, let's be even with Serena and China and give Jesse a. A tri Pokemon key like that's the only way to even it out and have more tri Pokemons in the future that's in my opinion that's what I think that some Y writers are going to do Nene uh, I don't know guys she's just a one-shot character I mean she has come back that's like I the first time I heard Nene was returning I was actually surprised because I thought we'd never see her again I thought she was just one of those yeah. one-shot characters but I was proven wrong when that preview came Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're not too sure if this will be Nene's first official tri Pokemon. We, we don't really know that much about Nene's progression. So, if this is going to be her first tri Pokemon, then I kind of doubt that she'll win the competition. But it's kind of already confirmed that she's going to be eliminated in the first round since we don't see Nene um, in the second round. Yeah, the X and Y writers really gotta, well not the writers, I think the people who handle the ads and the broadcasting gotta stop spoiling it for us for the previews. Because we already know for a fact Nene is not going to win the first round and she's going to be eliminated. So I wish they didn't do that because now we know that it's Jesse, Serena, and Shauna who are going to be going up to the next round. Yeah, although I will say that if they're going to have to make up Nene's screen time, like, she's going to have to... Um, have more screen time maybe after the performance or maybe she's going to watch the second round once she's um, eliminated yeah hopefully they utilize her in the right way like if this is a one-shot character make the best of her you know we're not going to see her again for a while i assume so just make the best of her i mean she is a good character i'm not saying she's bad i mean again she is the best girl according to everybody or the best grill i don't know guys that's twitter for you Anyway, um, we talked about Jesse and Nene, but what about Shauna? I mean, a lot of people left out Shauna. I think Shauna's the underdog here. Like, we know for a fact Shauna came to this Tri-Pokemon with spirits of winning this as well as Serena. But, you know, I see the most competition between Serena and Shauna. Because now that Serena has more experience in these Tri-Pokemons, like, what will Shauna do this time? And considering for the previews that we got for next week's Thursday's episode... She is not, there's no mercy. Like, she is doing an awesome job. Let me She's going to go at it. Go all in. Yeah, definitely. And Serena, too. I mean, I'm not saying that Serena isn't, but she was doing pretty well herself, too. Mm-hmm. And for the preview as well. Oh, I'm sorry. You were going to say something, Edgar? No, no. Go ahead. All right. 
So one thing that I noticed in the preview was that Meowth was competing against a Sneasel, and I like that rivalry. Like, will there be like a like whose Pokemon is that? First of all, is it that Clement's like a girl? Like, who knows? I, I, I like that rivalry. <laughs> yeah, I did gotta agree with you that there was something unique about the competition between those two. I just like it. The instant I um, you know, saw those two um, digging in it out. Yeah. Do you think that he'd be competing with Serena or Shauna? But no, it's just random performers Pokemon. So yeah. maybe it's Nene's. Like, we don't know. Like, we still don't know whose trainer is that. So yeah, you know, and you do bring up a good point because uh, ever since we've uh, seen Nene's debut, we only know that uh, Smoochum and Farfetch are the only two Pokemon that Nene has. Uh, who knows if uh, Smoochum evolved into a Jinx or she caught an another member in her party. So. Um, it's sure to have that Sneasel, that's something I wouldn't mind. Yeah, and I kind of rule out Serena, I mean Serena, I kind of rule out Shauna actually having that Pokemon, because I'm pretty sure she would show it to the gang the previous episode in the tag battle. So, yeah, it's confirmed that, well, in my opinion, it's confirmed that Shauna doesn't have that Pokemon, nor does Nene. And just yeah. we all know that she hasn't captured a Pokemon, and when she does, they get a dedicated episode to that. Yeah, you do bring up a good point there because, um, like, going going back to the Diamond and Pearl series, when uh, when we saw that May owned a Glaceon, she uh, that Glaceon made an appearance before um, the Pokemon contest um, within the within the Diamond and Pearl series. Yeah, you bring up a good point right there. Something that I wanted to like get it out there like we were right about the quiz theme like everybody was saying what's up with like you know the theme around it like what's the theme and we did predict in our discussion that it was a quiz theme like try pokemon i'm pretty sure other people predicted that as well but i just wanted to get that out there and not to mention the fact that serena will be passing the first round so that's good to know like she's not gonna lose first round and shauna isn't either and i think jesse also passed the first round as well i think nanny is the only one that hasn't yeah, because uh, I think Nene is competing with Serena and the uh, the so-called female Clement, and t you know, t like I said before, uh, you know, Nene is got not going. It's not going to advance, knowing that Serena is going to be competing in the second round, and um, you know, we just don't see Nene around. So I think she might have lost against Serena in the first round. Yeah. And something that I wanted to bring up was that this is the first time Nene is actually going to see Serena's new design her hairstyle and oh, how yeah. she competes in tripoclons well she's seen her like practice but not actually in a tripoclon like see the full magic come to be so i'm pretty hyped about that i wonder if nay nay knows you guys you guys already know last week it was shauna knows the, the five weeks before that it was bonnie knows now that we got nay nay knows like who knows <laughs> yeah we all know yeah. except ash i kind of doubt it but who knows like you said yeah, hopefully she has that Mieti vibe and says, why'd you cut your hair? Is it because uh, you went been through a breakup or something? We all know that all these Tripoclons have a hint of a more shipping in it, so I'm, don't worry about all the more shippers. Like, we're all going to see no more shipping hit there. It's a known fact up to this point. Yeah, and not to mention that this is going to be the last episode of the Serena arc, so if there's a Serena arc, I do expect to see a few hints in there, especially if, it, if it's in the Tripoclon. Yeah, and they're off with a bang, X and Y writers. And not to mention, too, like, this is the final tri Pokemon that we're going to see in the X and Y anime. Who knows if we're going to see another one for a while in the X and Y and Z anime, since it's focusing on Team Flare. So, guys, if you love tri Pokemons, enjoy this episode, because it'll probably be another while until we see another episode like this. Yeah. Oh, man. But, you know, there's so much to look forward to. And, you know, something we didn't talk about as much, Eevee. Yeah, so, I was about to say that. Yeah. Do you think Eevee is going to be the reason why Serena loses tri this tri Pokemon? Um, it could be a factor. Now, I'm not saying I completely agree with you, but uh, if we if you saw the first preview, you did get to see Eevee at the end. This, what seems to be like she's watching the performance. Now, I think that Eevee might be watching the second performance, which means that um, Serena found Eevee and uh, she's going to be all right and she's going to go along with second performance so i don't think um i don't think if it will be the cause of serena's um, defeat but um i i, I don't know i just don't think sh that's going to be the case 
Yeah, and I was actually gonna say that as well. Like we know for a fact, BB was staring at some fire-like substance that was in the air. Yeah. But like we know for a fact that Serena gets EB back, and she was sitting down in a chair with the whole gang. But I also wanted to mention <coughs> that you know everything might be all right on the stage, but maybe EB uh, made Serena late to the performance or something like that. I know she was late to the performance in the second one. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something happened behind the scenes that is gonna make Serena lose, regardless if she did an awesome job on stage. Like that's just me. But maybe somebody does better than Serena. I doubt that. Cause come on, she's a future college queen. But you know, Shauna could bring something to the table. Like I said before, she was doing pretty awesome in the preview herself. And you can't leave out Jesse or Jesselina. I don't know what's her incognito name in the X and Y anime. But you know, anything could happen. Anything could happen. X and Y writers did this before in the first try Pokemon, and we all thought Serena was going to win. No, they hit us with a haircut, which hurts me dearly. But, you know, I got over it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we just got to wait this Thursday and see who, well, out of these four try Pokemon girls, actually three, because we already ruled out that Nene is not going to win. Yeah, but <laughs> nevertheless, it'll, be, it'll still be great to see Nene again. Yeah, definitely. And I hope I, we get to see her again in the future tri clones because she's a great character. Like, trust me, all these X and Y one-shot characters have potential in them to be a more funnier and more enjoyable character. Yeah. And, you know, if she does end up losing, what I really do hope is that, you know, what I like to see from Nene is that she keeps on improving, just like Serena after her, you know, her dreaded debut. Yeah, definitely. So, before we end off this discussion, I want to know from you guys who do you think is going to win the tri Pokemon. I'm going to give you guys my predictions. Who's going to be eliminated first and who's going to be the winner of this whole tri Pokemon. So in fourth, we all know that Nene is going to be eliminated. Third, I would assume Jesse. As much as I want her to win as well, to be evened out with the Princess Key for with Serena and Shauna, I think Jesse is going to yet again not learn from her mistakes and get too cocky or do something that involves cheating and be disqualified. So I considered her being in third. Shauna, as much as I want her to win as well, I think Serena is going to take it all. Like from the preview itself, we saw, her, like, come on, that signature jump in the air, you can't go wrong with that. And breaks in, bringing her flamethrower substance in the air, like, you can't go wrong with that as well either. So I'm going to have to say Shauna in second, and Serena takes his tri on. What about you, Edgar? Yeah, I... I'm along the same lines as um, as you are because, uh, um, well, yeah, obviously Nene is going to be the first one to be eliminated. So, um, and then after that, uh, I, I am going to have to go with Jesse because like you said before, I don't think she's going to um, consider um, her mistakes, uh, turning that to an advantage, you know, improving what she, what she did wrong and all that. So I could see Jesse eliminated. Now, here's the thing. I I personally believe that it'll be a how do I put this a tough competition between Serena and Shauna. Without and, a doubt, yeah, yeah. And I think at the end result, you know, once the once the second round is finished, I think it'll be a, a near close, um, yeah, a close to a tight decision, but with Shauna uh, ending up taking it all. Yeah, so I think that. Serena, I think that Serena will lose, but only by a narrow defeat. Yeah, and you know, if she does lose, she she's already gotten used to the fact that, you know, she can't cry over, well, not cry necessarily, but, you know, just get down not on herself when she loses. Like, yeah. she knows for a fact how to handle these losses. And, yeah. you know, if you guys saw the subs for last week's episode, um, where she captures Eevee, she actually... Um, she actually recognized her mistake of scaring Eevee off when it was actually Ash's fault of scaring Eevee off. But she says, that was my bad, and she she brushed it away. Like, you know, I recognize my mistakes. I gotta move on, just improve on what I did bad, and yeah, just move on. So if Serena does lose this, don't worry, guys. I'm pretty sure she'll handle this maturely because 80 episodes, and you, you think her character wouldn't develop? It's developed tremendously, so don't worry, guys. I'm yeah. pretty sure the what? writers wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, guys, 
Let us know in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the tri on this Thursday? You guys know I'm going to be doing the reaction to that. As you guys may know, my second tri on reaction already hit 10k because I went crazy over the facts. We're going to win our first Princess Key. So you guys should tune in this Thursday for my reaction video. As well as follow me on Twitter because you guys will also see my reactions there as well. Me tweeting out like, oh wow, she's going to win or not. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this discussion. So hyped for this Thursday, the third and final tri for the X and Y anime. Hopefully I'll see you guys there that Thursday. This has been Take a Step Away from Tumblr and today with me to help me out with this discussion is... Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Alpha Evie. And hopefully we see you guys during the next discussion or reaction video, whichever one we make. See you later guys. Adios.